Hi y'all, welcome out to the range. What I brought out today is this Browning SA-22LR. This particular one was made in 1960. A few months ago, I went by our local pawn shop slice gun store, picked this rifle up. It was coming up on my wife's birthday and she loves 22s, loves shooting them. And I saw this particular one, pretty nice shape. So I thought I'd pick it up for her for her birthday. We brought it out and shot it. She really loves it. So I thought I'd make this video today and share it with you guys. And we'll send some down range. We'll talk about it a little bit. Maybe some of you guys know a whole lot more about them than I do, but I tell you what, what I know of this, and it's a sweet little gun. It's light, slim, trim. But uh, guys, that being said, let's send us a few down range and see if we can even hit one of these four inch targets. Okay, guys. We got his tin loaded up. Let's send some down range to see what happens right here. Well, there's 10, and as you can see, I hope you can see it, but I hit the little flipper there. It ain't flipping with these 22 LRs. They said it's for rim fire. And got well, y'all, we uh, set up for that tree right there, and it's for rim fire ammo, according to what the box said on it, but uh, it ain't flipping them right there. Just ain't got enough power to flip it, so. I went down there and got my eight inch steel target on the shepherd hooks and brought it up here and set it up. And guys, let's send a few more down range. I got her loaded up again and we'll see what it does right there. Leave me a comment and tell me, all, tell me what y'all think about the SA-22LR, uh, the Browning. Uh, and this gun right here was made in Belgium. Guys, tell me what y'all think about it. That being said, let's send some down there and see if we can hit that old big plate. Shoots good, guys. Shoots good. Nice looking gun. It ain't a bad looking gun. Be made in 1960. Good looking gun. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think, guys. Okay, guys, I thought we might take a closer look at this little gun right here. This is the SA-22LR Browning. It was designed by John Browning. And it's a sweet little gun right there. This particular one was made in 1960. As I said, I was in the pawn shop slice gun store in my lo local here. And I saw this a few months ago, and I thought I'd pick it up. My wife loves 22s, loves shooting them, and I picked this up for her birthday, guys. And this uh, particular one, like I said, was made in 1960. The earlier ones were made from 1914, 1955, and they were top loaders. They loaded them up here on top. And uh, they had this hole right here, and you just fed the ammo through there. And uh, these particular ones here, this one here came in production in 1956 and they have the wheel rear, the wheel sight on the rear uh, was made and it was made from 1956 to 1961 and you can see there and I did run the serial number on this and the best I can tell it's made in 1960 and guys this gun was made in Belgium made in Belgium right there I don't know if you can we can get focused in on it or whatever, but it was made in Belgium. Hopefully you can see that. And it's a sweet little old gun, but they're light and slim and trim. They shoot real well, shoot real well. And I've not had any failures. I've used bulk, bulk ammo, all kinds of different types of ammo, and it's not had any problems. And then in 1961, they went to the rear flip-up sights. These sights back here, the way they were made, they would flip down or flip up sites and they were made from 1961 to 1973 yeah, that is if it came from belgium but anyway guys 
A lot of people like those flipped up sights, those models, because they could put a scope on here and uh, they could flip their sight down out of the way. It wouldn't interfere with it, didn't have to take it off. Guys, let's do some more shooting with it. <clears throat> Hope y'all enjoy it right there. Let me know what you know about these. Any of y'all own these or have, have owned them? Let me know what you think about them. They've been in, uh, in production for a long time. They must be pretty good, well-made little rifles. I know a lot of people's owned them, but my wife really loves this one right here, guys. And that being said, let's shoot it some more right there and see what happens. Okay, guys, we got us 11 more loaded up in the little Browning SA-22LR made in Belgium. And I gave $400 for this. And I want you all's opinion, did I pay too much for it? Just let me know what you think about it. I'm satisfied with what I gave for it. My wife is, but really don't know the value of it. But I gave $400 for it, and I was satisfied with it. But you guys leave me a comment and tell me what you think about it. And uh, guys, let's send some down there to that 8-inch plate right there and see what happens. Put your earplugs in good and tight, and let's get her done. Well, there you have it. The Browning, designed by John Browning, made in Belgium. Sweet gun, nice looking gun. 22 LR, never had not one misfire or failure to feed or nothing. Nothing, just be careful. If you do, of course you guys that know about these guns do, if you do have get one of these, pick up one of these somewhere, if you got on a long sleeve shirt, one of them hot spent uh, cases go down your sleeve. You might do the do a wild dance on the range. And guys, that being said, if you like this kind of content, subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. May God bless you. Until the next time, guys.